Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. We're continuing here in the Pella Yoyets. And today he gives a little bit of rebuke to Klal Yisrael. And he says, Once that we look at ourselves, we are the orphan generation. Unfortunately, we've become very weak, and we've increased our impurities and the sins that we do. And because of our great many errors and sins, we have been holding back the ultimate good from ourselves, the ultimate good, getting close to Hashem. Every Avera, every sin that a person does, pushes our Kodesh Baruch and makes a wedge in the relationship farther and farther. And as a result of that, we're not able to think uh, clearly about acquiring the proper year, the awe, the fear, the ava, the love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One and the Awesome and the Honorable One. And therefore it is fitting for a person to affix for themselves hours or times every single day. Or at least sometimes. You must learn books, svarim, that remind us of fearing Hashem and having awe of Him, and the Ava and loving Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Which, by the way, is why we're learning Peliyoyets because He does a wonderful job of reminding us of what it means to be a Jew and how to live our lives appropriately. But in His humility, He's not saying to read His Sefer. He says you have to read other svarim. That work on that will help you work on this. Kagain the Sefer Hakadosh Reishis Chachma, a very famous work, I believe by the Chida called Reishis Chachma. Not learned so much today because the language in there is fire, fire about what happens to a person if they do sin, fire about the world of Gehenna that a person is going to go to, and therefore I'm not sure that it's learned so much. But if you have the if you have the tenacity and you can handle such a thing, open up a Reishis Chachma once in a while. So to the Shla Kodesh, who is one of the great giants of Yira and Ava, read his Svarim. The Sefer Chayvus Levava is how, but the Sefer Chayvus Levava is duties of the heart. Or Rabbeinu Bechaya, the Sefer Abris, or the Sefer Abris, Uchidayme, or similarly anything that you could find will add in there. Misos Hasharim, the path of the just. Rabbeinu Yonah Shari Tshuva. Even uh, Pirkei Avos with Rabbeinu Yonah's commentary in there. Many, many things, whatever safer you can get your hands on that speaks to you, that will help you to increase your fear and your awe and your love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, a person should learn. And it really says every day a person should set aside time, but if you can't do every day, it's hard to find time every day, or it's even hard on you to learn these kind of things every day, at least several times a week, make sure that there's time that you set up to learn them. And perhaps in, in these words, if you read these svarim, you learn these type of svarim, you'll fulfill the mitzvah of to fear and to love Hashem. And he says an amazing thing over here. How, what comes first, the fear and the awe of Hashem or loving Hashem? And he says in reality, love comes first, and it draws out the yira, the awe and the fear that you're going to have. Because the more love of HaKadosh Baruch that you have, either because you recognize all the good that you receive from Hashem, or like the second way we said, you see the exalted loftiness of HaKadosh Baruch and you're humbled in His presence. Therefore you'll also be afraid to transgress His will, will achisai, and to anger HaKadosh Baruch Hu with our mistakes, will it sorrow, and to cause Hashem pain. When you cause Hashem pain, not champagne. Yeah, it says the, says the Peleyoyets, that if you come to love the Rebbe of all the good that He does, you're not going to want to hurt Him. You're not going to want to go against His word and transgress what He says, because you know that it's going to cause pain and sorrow and anguish, and it'll be disappointed in us. Why would a person 
who is in love with the Rebbe Nisham, who sees all the goodness that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does, why would he want to do such a thing? You can fulfill the mitzvah of fearing HaKadosh Baruch Hu with your thoughts alone. Like we're going to learn later on when we get to the chapter on Yira, on fear and awe. And through the thoughts of loving Hashem, it will draw out and bring you to the thoughts of fearing HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Again, the more that you love somebody, the more careful we are not to transgress and hurt them and disappoint them and frustrate them and make them cry. So to the same thing, if you love the Rebbein Nisha'ilam, which hopefully now after 10 days of working on loving Hashem, our Ab is getting greater and greater every single day, how much more careful are we going to be to make sure that we don't do something that will be disappointing in the eyes of Hashem? That requires year, that requires the fear and the awe, and in that way we'll hold ourselves in check so that we can enhance and develop the loving relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu more and more every single day. Have a wonderful day.